Gloria Swanson, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, made her mark on the silver screen long before many of us were born. The first time you might have recognized her was likely through her iconic performances in silent films and early talkies. Among her numerous works, one standout piece that defined her career remains a subject of debate. Which of her legendary roles left an indelible mark on her legacy? Now, we're curious to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. But before you do, keep watching as we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts about Gloria Swanson coming up. Stay tuned for more insights into the life of this Hollywood icon. Gloria Swanson, a prominent figure in the film industry, significantly impacted and influenced Hollywood during her era and beyond. Known for exceptional talent and captivating screen presence, she played a crucial role in shaping the landscape of American cinema. In the early 20th century, she rose to fame as a silent film actress, captivating audiences with her performances. Her ability to convey emotions and connect with viewers distinguished her from contemporaries. Swanson's influence extended beyond the screen as she became a trailblazer for women in the film industry. One of her notable contributions was collaboration with director Cecil B. Demel. Their partnership resulted in iconic films that not only showcased her acting prowess, but also contributed to the evolution of Hollywood storytelling. Together, they crafted narratives that resonated with audiences and set new standards for cinematic excellence. As Hollywood transitioned to the era of talkies, Swanson seamlessly adapted to the changing dynamics of the industry. Her versatility as an actress became evident as she successfully navigated the challenges of transitioning from silent films to the dialogue-driven medium. This adaptability solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. Beyond her on-screen achievements, she played a pivotal role in challenging gender norms within the film industry. As a producer and businesswoman, she demonstrated that women could wield influence behind the scenes, contributing to the broader shift in Hollywood's perception of gender roles. Her impact on Hollywood endured over the years, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers, emphasizing the importance of talent, resilience, and adaptability in a constantly evolving cinematic landscape. In conclusion, Gloria Swanson's contributions to Hollywood, both in front of and behind the camera, shaped the course of American cinema. Her influence during her era and the lasting impact she made on the film industry are testaments to her enduring legacy. Gloria Swanson, a mother of a daughter and an adopted son, led a fascinating life marked by unique twists and unexpected inspirations. The adopted son, Joseph Patrick, often mistakenly associated with Joseph P. Kennedy, carried a name that held no connection to her past lover. In 1938, at the age of 39, she found herself unwittingly becoming the visual muse for Morticia Adams in the Adams Family illustrations published in The New Yorker. Her journey took an intriguing turn when, at the age of 21, she welcomed her first child into the world. Along with her second husband, Herbert K. Somborn, they celebrated the arrival of their daughter, Gloria Swanson Somborn, on October 7, 1920. The dynamics of family life added another layer to her multifaceted narrative. Navigating the delicate balance of motherhood and a career in the limelight, Gloria's life became a testament to resilience and adaptation. The story is more than a series of dates and events. It is a captivating narrative woven into the fabric of history. As she gracefully embraced the challenges of life, her experiences became a source of inspiration for those who follow Wood in her footsteps. In the world of Hollywood, where fame often comes with its share of complexities, her journey stands out as a remarkable chapter in the annals of history. Her ability to resonate with audiences and evolve with the changing tides of the entertainment industry speaks volumes about her enduring legacy. The layers of her life, both personal and professional, are intricately etched into the collective memory, a living testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman whose story continues to captivate. Gloria Swanson's journey in the realm of Hollywood spanned various facets of her life. Her last husband, William Dufty, known for his work as an author and screenwriter, became deeply involved in holistic health literature influenced by her own interest. Dufty, recognized for his role in creating Lady Sings, the blues drew inspiration from Swanson's passion for well-being, notably translating You Are All Sanpaku by George Osawa. 
acknowledged for contributions, she earned two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for motion pictures and another for television, solidifying her place in the bustling landscape of Hollywood at 6 and 750 and 6301 Hollywood Boulevard, respectively. In a straightforward response to Rose Kennedy's claims in her 1974 memoirs, Swanson penned her autobiography, providing a counter-narrative. This move exemplifies her resilience and straightforward approach to addressing controversies in life. The story extends beyond the glitz of Hollywood. It is a narrative woven into history, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. As she faced challenges, embraced change, and influenced those around her, Gloria Swanson's enduring legacy continues to captivate. Gloria Swanson, known for her illustrious career, made a notable appearance on the ABC TV variety show The Hollywood Palace in 1964. Producers Nick Van Off and William O. Harbach orchestrated a comedy sketch featuring her and Buster Keaton adding Hollywood glamour to the show's lineup. Portraying Cleopatra, she and Keaton, playing Mark Antony, showcased comedic chemistry on a Roman-inspired set. The sketch's climax, with the duo falling off a parapet wall, was a collaborative idea between them, demonstrating a hands-on approach to the performance. In 1939, Swanson was in consideration for the iconic role of Scarlett O'Hara and Gone with the Wind, ultimately played by Vivian Lee. Despite not landing the part, her impact on Hollywood remained substantial. Beyond her screen presence, Swanson shared a close friendship with actor Dirk Benedict. Their connection deepened during their collaboration on the play Butterflies Are Free, where she portrayed Benedict's mother. Introducing him to macrobiotics, Swanson became a maternal figure in his life. These lesser-known aspects of her career and relationships add layers to the story, showcasing adaptability and influence both on and off the screen. The Hollywood Palace appearance, the consideration for Scarlett O'Hara, and her friendship with Dirk Benedict offer glimpses into the diverse facets of Swanson's journey in the entertainment industry, demonstrating lasting impact. While at MGM in the 1930s, Gloria Swanson desired to create a film titled Dark Victory. However, Irving Thalberg rejected the idea, asserting that no major studio would produce a movie centered on a woman succumbing to a brain tumor. The film eventually materialized at Warner's in 1939, starring Betty Davis, and proved to be a massive success. Notably, Swanson's portrayal of Norma Desmond in Sunset BLVD holds the 31st spot on Premiere Magazine's list of 100 greatest movie characters of all time. Despite her accomplishments, Swanson expressed a dislike for writing her autobiography. Her attempt to bring dark victory to life, the enduring impact of her performance in Sunset BLVD, and her aversion to autobiography writing offer insights into the various dimensions of her career, showcasing both ambition and challenges in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. In the early 1920s, a falling out occurred between Gloria Swanson and her close friend Blanche Sweet. The dispute revolved around a man leaving Sweet harboring unforgiving sentiments. Her impact in the film industry extended beyond the screen. The original Roxy Theater in New York City, where the love of Sonia premiered in March 1927, marked a significant moment. Swanson attended the premiere, and when the theater faced demolition in 1961, she posed amidst its ruins as a poignant farewell. Known for an extravagant lifestyle, reports indicated that she earned a substantial 8,000 between 1918 and 1929, spending nearly all of it. By her death in 1983, the gross estate was valued at just over one 440000 The complexities of her relationships and the connection to the Roxy Theater offer insights into her personal and professional journey, showcasing the multifaceted nature of life in the entertainment industry. These episodes, along with disputes and financial choices, add layers to the narrative of a woman who left an enduring mark on Hollywood. Gloria Swanson's Hollywood journey unfolded in unexpected ways. Her second husband, Herbert K. Somborn, managed the renowned Brown Derby restaurant until his passing in 1934. This chapter in her life showcased a different facet, intertwining with the glamour of Hollywood and the culinary world. In 1925, while working on Madame Sans Garn in France, she encountered her third husband, the Marquis Henri de la Falaise, who initially served as her interpreter. Their connection marked a unique intersection of cultures, blending the realms of cinema and international romance. 
One of her defining moments on the silver screen came with an Oscar-nominated role in Sunset Boulevard. The portrayal of the delusional silent star Norma Desmond left an indelible mark on audiences. Despite the acclaim, she found herself continuously reminding the public that she was not Norma Desmond, but had portrayed her on screen. This distinction became a recurring theme in her post-Sunset Boulevard life. From managing the Brown Derby to the romance with the Marquis and the enduring legacy of Sunset Boulevard, Swanson's journey unfolded in unexpected layers.